Academy of Islamic Propagation. Akadib. Triumph of Islam, it's a divine order. Triumph of Islam, it's a divine order. There is no God worthy of worshipping except Allah, the first and the last. Prophet Muhammad is Allah's messenger, the role model and the blessing to the world. Akadib, Nigeria, we are 25 years old, doing Dawah since 1995. So far, so good. We have achieved a lot. Congratulations to the Muslim Ummah. Triumph of Islam, it's a divine order. Triumph of Islam, it's a divine order. There is no God worthy of worshipping except Allah, the first and the last. Prophet Muhammad is Allah's messenger, the role model and the blessing to the world. Akadib, Nigeria, we are 25 years old, doing Dawah since 1995. So far, so good. We have achieved a lot. Congratulations to the Muslim Ummah. Congratulations now to the Muslim Now we are ready Ummah. for the award. Congratulations to the Muslim Ummah. Al-Hajj Umar Farouk Bello. Baban Sheikhi Mudaga Abuja. Akachi Shine Motemem Parko. Wada Malan Yusuf Yagani Kokarinsa Adi Nanche. Yeche to Malan Kazo Zanu Citation, please. Standing before this gathering of distinguished Muslim brothers and sisters is a treasure trove of generosity and benevolence, who has positively touched the lives of very many people in the person of Al Haji Umar Farooq Bello. Al Haji Farooq, the national Amir of Muslim professionals in Dawa, is a native of Brinning Kebi in Kebi State. He was born 62 years ago. He attended Tundwada Primary School, Burning Kebi, from 1966 to 1970. Government College Sokoto from 1971 to 1976, before he proceeded to Ahmed Bello University, Zaria, where he obtained a BSc in Business Administration as well as Masters in the same course. Al Haji Umar Farooq was appointed as Assistant Lecturer at Sokoto State University in 1981, assistant registrar at College of Education, Sokoto, from 1982 to 1986, advance officer at Sokoto Cooperative Bank in 1986, head sales Nigeria LNG Limited in 1997, and sales manager Nigerian Gas Company NNPC in the year 2000. With result-oriented ability to perform excellently, Al Haji Farouk passed through vantage positions in NNPC, from executive director to group general manager, then to managing director, before he retired from NNPC's service in the year 2015. This pious and humble man had successfully combined the challenges of his tedious profession with religious activities. Apart from being a scholar of the Dean, he always commits his resources to the growth of Islam. He is the benevolent sponsor of many Islamic Dawa programs. He is happily married with children. I have the honor and privilege of inviting this humble philanthropist, Al Haji Umar Farooq Bello, for the commemorative award of excellence in appreciation of his continuous meritorious services to Islam and humanity. Assalamu alaikum. I would like to call Professor Ishaq Adekulamo to present the award, inshallah. I want to thank Almighty God and present this award to our brother on behalf of Akadib Nigeria. The Almighty Allah put blessing in him. Prophet Muhammad is Allah's messenger, the role model, and the blessing to the world. Akadib Nigeria, we are 25 years old. Doing Dawah since 1995. So far, so good. We have achieved a lot. Congratulations to the Muslim Ummah. Hajiya Maryam Idris Uthman. 
She is the national Amira woman in Dawa. A combination of diligence, worksomeness, and perseverance are highly noted for her philanthropic and humanitarian activities, as she puts smiles on the faces of many less privileged and several poor persons near and far. Hajia Mariam Idris Uthman was born in Kunduga, Borno State. She attended Kunduga Primary School and Government Girls College, Dalla, Kano State. She holds a bachelor's degree in history and she is currently a student of Islamic Online University studying for a degree in Arabic and Islamic studies. She has worked as a proofreader at a Nation House Press in Kaduna and later became Assistant Marketing Manager. She also worked as Director of Umahatul Mumin Center for Knitting, Sewing and Home Management in Kaduna between 1992 and 1997. She was a teacher at both Fomwan Islamia Model School, Kaduna, and Madrasatul Ta'afizul Quran, Abuja, from 1991 to 2002. Hajia Mariam Idris Uthman became the Amira of Fomwan Kaduna State in the year 2000. She was Fomwan National Secretary between 2001 and 2005. Fomwan National Vice President from 2005 to 2009 and she eventually became Form 1 National President in 2009. Hajia Uthman is a member, Board of Trustees, the Sal Sunna Fedawa, also member, Board of Trustees, Girl Child Concerns, member, Board of Trustees, Al-Hidayah Charity and Women in Dawa, member, Board of Trustees, Women and Youth Collective Support Initiative. Chairperson, Board of Trustees, Al Majari Support Initiative, and currently the National Amira Women in Dawa. She has attended several courses, conferences, workshops, seminars in Nigeria and outside the country. She is married and blessed with children. Brothers and sisters in Islam, I hereby humbly present to you an upright woman of high integrity, Hajia Mariam Idris Uthman, for this deserving award of excellence in recognition of her continued contributions to the growth of Islam. Assalamu alaikum. Al Hajia Hafsat Shunaya will present the award. On behalf of the Academy of Islamic Propagation, I great honor. To present this award to our mother, Alanja Mariam Idris Uthman, National Amira Women in Dawa. Congratulations, Ma. Since 1995, so far so good. We have Alhamdulillah. Lord, congratulations to the Muslim Uma. Dr. Mariam Jumai Bello Yasin, to please come forward and receive her award. The Yeye Basono of Ofa, of Fakwara State. It is rare to find this gem of beauty and brain in the caliber of her peers. An amiable, articulate, dynamic and resourceful woman leader, a role model and an achiever, worthy of emulation. Dr. Mariam Jumai Bello Yasin was born six decades ago in the northwest of Nigeria. She holds a B.Ed. and M.Ed. in Educational Administration and Planning from the University of Jos Plateau State, a Doctor of Humanities from Commonwealth University and a Specialist and Consultant in Educational Administration. She is the proprietress of Hamizek Montessori Academy in Abuja. al Haja Yasin was employed at the Federal Minister of Defense in the early 80s before she moved to Federal Character Commission in the late 90s. Hajia Mariam Yasin was privileged to be a member of the National Conference, organized by the former Nigeria President Dr. Goodluck Jonathan, and through her diligence, Dr. Mariam was the only female representing oil and gas in Nigeria and serving at the Energy Committee. She is a unionist, an educationist, a fellow with the Institute of Management Specialists in the United Kingdom, 
a member of the Nigeria Institute of Management, a member of National Association of Educational Administration and Planning, a member of Teachers Council of Nigeria, and currently a student of both Royal Military Academy, Sandhurst, London, and African Development Studies Centre, France. Towards the end of 2019, Dr. Mariam Yassin backed the World Safety Organization Award in Las Vegas, Nevada, United States of America. She belongs to various professional bodies in Nigeria and abroad. In the realm of religious activities, Hajia Mariam has equally far excelled. She has devoted almost all her time and personal resources to the promotion of Islam over the years. Her sterling qualities, meritorious services and benevolence had earned her many awards and chieftaincy titles like Mother of Peace and Epitome of Leadership by Fulani Youth Council of Nigeria. She is well traveled and happily married to Alahaji Najmidim Usman Yassin, the immediate past president of NURTW and blessed with children and grandchildren. Consequent upon this, it is my pleasure to present Dr. Mariam Jumai Bello Yassin for this memorable award as a mark of honor and recognition and appreciation of her contributions to the cause of Islam. Assalamu alaikum. Let me quickly add this to the uh, profile of our mother. Ajia Jumai Yassin, she retired as the head of the Inspectorate and Investigation of the Petroleum Equalization Fund Management Board after 19 years of meritorious service. Allahu Akbar. Academic Nigeria, we are 25 years old. On behalf of the Academy, may Allah reward you abundantly. So far, so good. We have achieved a lot. Congratulations to the Muslim Uma. We now invite Al Haja Rizkot Bola Arugudadi. Standing before this gathering of distinguished Muslims as a woman of high repute and honor, a treasure trove of philanthropy has positively touched the lives of very many people and person of Alhaja Risikot Bola Arugundadi. Alhaja Risikot was born to the Pa Muhammad Soliu and Madame Sariu Abike of Ikerukus compound, Mokwala Abekuta, Okeono Loki Government area of Ogun State. After acquiring basic education, her legitimate ambition was to become an astute businesswoman. And by the benevolence of Allah the Gracious the Merciful, Alhaja Bola Arugundadi has had her dint of hard labor and perseverance, well blessed. Today, she is a successful business administrator, a manager of men and material resources. In the realm of religious activities, Alhaja Rizukot has excelled. She is always ready to put her personal resources to the propagation of Al Islam. She is much noted for her skill, kindness, honesty and devotion to the cause of Allah. Al-Hajjah Rungudada's commitment to Islam is highly praiseworthy as she has performed Hajj and has subsequently performed Umrah, the lesser Hajj. Many individuals and Islamic organizations have therefore benefited from our philanthropic gestures. Al-Hajjah Rungudada is the Chief Executive Officer of Al-Wajud groups of companies and a managing director of Al Wajud Ventures, a Lagos based firm. He has been honored with many awards from Islamic organizations. Our amiable and pious Hajia Rizakot is well traveled. She constantly visits the United Arab Emirates, the United Kingdom, Canada, United States of America, and many others. She is happily married and blessed with children. In further recognition of her meritorious service to Islam, especially to Akadib Nigeria, I hereby present Al Haja Rizukot Bola Arugundadi for their word of excellence on this memorable occasion 
of the 25th anniversary of Akadib Public Enlightenment. Assalamu alaikum. Ki ya wa Aisha Raji kwa fwani ya wadu na inshaAllah. Excellent services to the cause of Islam and to the development and growth of Akadi. May Allah bless your efforts. We are 25 years old doing our congratulations. So far, so good. We have achieved a lot. Congratulations to the Muslim Uma. Right Honorable Yusuf Suleiman Lasson, former Deputy Speaker, House of Representatives, Nigeria. A gallant soldier, marshalling his destiny with swift moves, worthy efforts, unmatched articulations at every stage of human and communal development. Honorable Suleiman Olashukomi Yusuf is a product of a compound complex struggle from contraction to self-expansion, a mass of substance, a politician of high repute who has positively touched the lives of people. Alhaji Sulaiman Yusuf is from Waru's compound in Ilobu Oshun State. He attended Ifoyari High School, then proceeded to University of Ife and the University of Ibadan for his first and second degrees in mechanical engineering respectively. As the saying goes, every human being is a political animal. This perhaps was what prompted him to go into partisan politics. His foray into the corridor of power began when he was appointed as the chairman of Capital City Development Authority in Oshun State. In his quest for glory, life has not only taught him lessons but has taken him through several routes, rough, smooth, sharp, hilly, sandy, and at last, straight to some enviable positions which include being the Federal Honorable, representing Irekodun Oshobo, Olorunda, Urulu Federal Constituencies, and eventually the Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives, which equals the number six in the leadership hierarchy of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. He was also appointed as the first Vice Chairman of ECOWAS Parliament. Honorable Lashukomi Yusuf is noted for his humane and philanthropic deeds. He is invested hugely through his influence and constituency projects. As a Federal Honorable, he backed on several physical projects in his constituency which are evidently visible to all his constituents. Suleiman Yusuf is a qualified engineer and he belongs to many professional bodies. A large-hearted Muslim who is ever ready to assist Islamic organizations that are in need of his assistance. He has put smiles in the faces of many less privileged and several poor persons near and far. He has traveled far and wide and is happily married and blessed with children. Dear Muslim Ummah, I hereby present before this august gathering of eminent Muslim personalities, Right Honorable Engineer Sulaiman Olashukomi Yusuf, a philanthropist, a role model, and a great pride to Islam, to be honored with their word of excellence by Akadip Nigeria. Assalamu alaikum. We are inviting the Secretary to the Guana State Government to present the award, inshallah. Uh, on behalf of uh, Akadip, I present this uh, award of excellence to you, Right Honorable Yusuf Suleiman Lasso, former Deputy Speaker, House of Representatives, Nigeria. In the glory of God, may God bless it for the support you have been giving the active all along and what you have given down today. May God bless you. I wish and pray that you continue to support the movement of Islam. Thank you very much. the last, Prophet Muhammad is Allah's messenger, the role model and the blessing to the world. Akadip Nigeria, we are 25 years old, doing Dawah since 1995. 
So far, so good. We have achieved a lot. Congratulations to the Muslim Umar. Sheikh Muhammad Awal, all the way from United States of America, to come forward and receive his award. Standing before this august gathering this afternoon is Sheikh Muhammad Awal, the founder of Zaytun Dawa Institute, an Islamic research center with the headquarters in Washington, United States of America. Sheikh Muhammad Awal is a scholar of Islamic sciences, comparative religion and logic. He is an Islamic apologist, a debater, a motivational speaker and a prolific writer. He holds a diploma in agricultural science and irrigation engineering from College of Irrigation and Surveying and a degree from Kaduna Polytechnic College of Environmental Studies, both in Nigeria. He also backs a diploma in logic and philosophy from Seattle Institute of Advanced Studies, United States of America. In the cause of Dawa, Sheikh Awal has traveled extensively across the continental United States of America, delivering lectures in colleges, universities, prisons, hospitals, and United States Armed Forces facilities. He has severally traveled to Canada, debating and presenting papers on Islam on various issues and at symposiums and interfaith dialogues. His dawah has landed him in Guyana, Trinidad and Tobago. The comparative guru has also traveled to many parts of Europe for Dawa, debating eminent Christian apologists. Consequent upon this, the manners of Bible tompers, hot gospelers, house to house canvassers and roving evangelists that always encroach upon the privacy of the Muslims had to a very large extent been repelled. The number of souls that had been referred to Islam through his humble Dawa efforts is indeed a testimony of the truth of Islam. Dear Muslim Ummah, I hereby present before this noble gathering a motivator, an orator, an erudite scholar, Sheikh Muhammad Awal, for this prestigious award of excellence for his commitment to the growth of Islam. Assalamu alaikum. Our dear father, Al Haji Jami Ishola Adipochu, will present the award, inshallah. I have uh, the privilege and honor of presenting this plate to you in recognition of your dawah activities throughout the world. Uh, there was a video clip that brought us all together once upon a time. When Lazarus died and uh, they felt it was Jesus who woke him up from the dead. But he said Jesus did no miracle of his own except all the miracles God did through him. Somebody said you are out of the point. And he said, I'm on the point. Because when Jesus was told that Lazarus died, he wondered and said, no, lady, don't tell me. Lazarus died? No. Where is he? They said, he's already in the sepulchre. Take me there. And when Jesus was going there, he started to pray using Aramaic, his own language. People thought he was murmuring. He was calling God, as you used to do this for me, please wake Lazarus for me. If he's actually dead, wake him for me. And the God has said, Lazarus? Lazarus said, yes, who is calling me? People shout and said, don't go away, don't go away. Wait. And Jesus looked up, said, God, I thank you sincerely. You have always done for me. I am saying this so that these people may know that it was you who did it, not me. Awal is within the point. He was never out of the point. And that was the truth. You are welcome and I wish you the best of luck 
in your endeavor. Triumph of Islam, it's a divine order. There is no God worthy of worshipping except Allah, the first and the last. Prophet Muhammad is Allah's messenger, the role model and the blessing to the world. Akadib Nigeria, we are 25 years old, doing Dawah since 1995. So far, so good. We have achieved a lot. Congratulations to the Muslim Uma. Congratulations to the Muslim Uma. Congratulations to the Muslim Uma.